here's Goofy with the 50th cake in his hand. Hello Disney friends. We're back at Epcot today. We're back for the flower and garden part two. We're gonna be looking at different things today, so it's gonna be very exciting. Uh, we're gonna walk around again all over Epcot and we're gonna record what we see and I'm sure we're gonna find some really cool adventures. It's gonna be a fun adventure indeed. So come along with us. Let's not waste any time and let's get inside. Let's go. Jeez. There's Daisy. Good job, Daisy. She's looking amazing. Daisy, can you spin a little bit? Just to turn around just a little? Oh, wow, Daisy. Wow, Daisy, you got it going on, girl. That's right. Since we're here and passing by Guardians of the Galaxy, we want you guys to know that it's coming real soon. We don't have an updated date as of yet. All we know, it is coming soon. Allegedly, this year. Actually, we found out for sure, for sure, it's coming this summer to uh, Walt Disney Park near you. So, hey, you guys, are you excited as we are? Yeah, we can't wait to ride this. If it's not too aggressive, of course, but we're going to find out for sure. We have to at least ride it once, and then we'll let you know. There is no donut box. They've moved everything around and for the festival, and there is no donut box. But we're going to get something at Sunshine Grill. Um, I believe Ricky said he wants to try the fried cinnamon roll bites. They have a little bacon in them. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit of bacon on them. Should be good. We'll see if he likes them. Try something new, right? That's what we're here for. These are the delicious cinnamon cheese bites with candied bacon. The cinnamon roll bites are $4.50. All right, Ricky, give it a try. Do you know what that is? You know what that is? What is it? Right, cinnamon roll bites with candied bacon. Go ahead, give it a try. Oh, wow, look at that. It has frosting on it. Let's take a closer look at Ricky's bite. Hey, Ricky, can you look at the camera and tell us if you like it? Thumbs up or down? Thumbs up. Good job. All right, I'm going to let Ricky finish it. He gives it a thumbs up. It's an approval, so we'll let him finish that, and then we'll be on our way. I spy a new Dooney and Burr saving the world. It's the Incredibles, Cars, um, Inside Out, uh, Remy. This is so nice. Check this out. And again, the famous satchel and the dough and this little crossbody. So adorable. I really like it. The alarm's going off for some reason. Didn't like that I touched it. Aren't these the cutest rain gardening boots? At least I think you can wear them in the rain, but really they're for gardening. They have a very plastic smell to them, very strong chemical smell. I can smell it from where I'm standing. That might fade, but for now, they're pretty strong in that scent. Ricky, how much are the gardening boots? $59.99. $59.99? Yes? Okay. And they're just adorable. And they have butterfly and a flower. And look, there's a hidden Mickey right there. Look at the flowers. I sound like Carol on um, Walking Dead. Look at the flowers. Uh, no, just kidding. Um, if any of you watch Walking Dead, you know what I'm talking about. Here is a butterfly. And you know, speaking of butterflies, we, that's where we're heading next, to the butterfly house. Okay. We're heading into the butterfly house. Let's see if the butterfly lands on us. Here are the chains to keep the butterflies in, but they get out anyway. 
All these beautiful butterflies. So this was interesting. Include shallow saucers with pebbles and wet sand. Butterflies get thirsty too. So the butterflies seem to want to get out because they're flying pretty high. I don't blame them. You liking the butterflies, Rick? I think a butterfly is going to land on us. Almost did. Almost landed on Ricky's hat. She's been flying a little low, so I wonder if she's okay. She's beautiful, though. I don't know if I can get her if she'll get on my finger. No. Are you okay, sweetie? Come on. I'll put you on the plants. No. You got to get off the ground. Come on, sweetie. That's better. Stay in the flower. She's having a hard time. Yeah. Better than... This butterfly, she was having problems no, flying. Fine. So, this gentleman knows about butterflies, so he was able to get her and put her on the flowers. Because he says her wings are a little worn down, that's why she's flying so low. And I was so concerned about her, I wouldn't leave her. And Ricky's like, okay, we have to go. But I'm like, I'm not leaving her until somebody helps this butterfly. And I'm not going to pick her up because I really don't know. I didn't want to hurt her. But this gentleman apparently knew how to get her to go on his hand. And he put her on the flowers. And she was good there. Yay! I told him, you're the hero of the day. You saved the butterfly. Isn't this a beautiful picture? All we need is the monorail to come on by. And there she goes. Here is a kid's play area. It is open and looks like the kids are having fun. Great place for parents and children. It didn't seem like it was going to be a very busy day because there's no one in the entrance. You know why? Because it opened a few hours ago. Epcot did. And all the people are here at World Showcase. As expected, of course. Yeah, we know. So the crowds, they're in certain areas. Like right now, there's no crowd. But right by the Mexican pavilion, it gets pretty crowded in that area. Here are the three caballeros. It's um, Panchito and Donald and Carioca. There you go. The three caballeros. If you have never watched the three caballeros, I suggest you watch it. I actually love the movie. I love watching old movies. I look for all the old movies on Disney Plus. It just reminds me of when I used to watch um, uh, The World of Colors with Walt and um, The Wonderful World of Disney. I used to watch those shows with my parents every Sunday because it was every Sunday. And Walt would be on and he would talk a little bit and then the movie would start. Of course, I always wanted to, to watch the cartoon versions or the animation, and, um, but I still watch the other ones anyway. Because you know what? There wasn't a lot of variety, like nowadays. So we watched what we watched, and we had a schedule for everything we watched. So we're in the Mexican Pavilion, and you see there is a little bit of a crowd here. I like that one. We spot another character sighting. And who do we see? Back there, let's see. Let's go over there and see who that is. That is Donald Duck. Hello, Donald. How are you? You're good? We just saw your girl, Daisy. Oh my goodness. 
She told me she picks out your outfits. Oh, I see. I like the way you're dressed. Do you know what my favorite Donald movie is? The Three Caballeros. That is my favorite. Is that yours too? Or one of them? Oh, you're, when you're in them, it's all good, right? It's all good. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's go get our photo taken together. All right? Kids are happy to see beautiful snow. Oh. Hi, Snow. How are you? I love her voice. I just need to get a photo with Snow. We had a lot of fun meeting Snow. I love that voice. I wish I and my voice were like that. No, it doesn't sound like snow, does it? No. Hello, maybe a higher pitch? Hello, everybody. I'm Mia from Cinderella. Which... No? No, okay, forget it. <laughs> Over here we have the topiary of snow and dopey. Hey, And right here we have the six dwarves. Doc, Grumpy, uh, Bashful, uh, Sleepy, uh, Happy, and I am missing one, right? And Grumpy, did I say Grumpy? Oh, if I missed one, comment below and help me out here with these dwarves. All right, you guys, Ricky wants to tell you what's behind him. Ricky, what is that? What is that? Say it. Talk to the camera. What is it? Archway. You know, Epcot is so big that there's so much to experience here. Not only when a festival is going on, just on a regular day, really. When there's no festival, there's a lot to experience. Besides the rides. I mean, yes, the rides, but we, there's other things here. The shops have so much to offer, and we can't just cover it all. We found some beautiful Mary Poppins merchandise. Look at that blouse, with some glasses, and a really, really cute little skirt. For the kids, there's this little tiny top. Look at the lace detail, I love this. I like those ones. And here is a beautiful plate. And this is an ornament, Mary Poppins and the Penguin. Okay, this blouse right here doesn't have any lace, but it's a, it's a dome sleeve, and it looks very comfortable because it's like loose fitting, so it would be very comfortable. And then here we have like a little sweater, and it has the Penguin on it, it says London, on the back of this little cardigan, it's not a sweater, it's a cardigan, it says practically perfect in every way. And this is United Kingdom merchandise, although we are not in the United Kingdom right now. So let me let you take a look at this blouse again. It has London here. And, but I like this lace detail on this blouse. And the lace is very soft. Beautiful. Ricky, how much is this blouse? Ricky, how much is the blouse? Very, very $39.99. So $40. So the London merchandise you can find in, by the American Pavilion. And um, the reason that Alice in Wonderland and Mary Poppins merchandise is kind of here is because they closed the store in the England, the United Kingdom area because they need, uh, they're out of cast members right now so they're looking to rebuild their cast members and once that happens they will reopen. Yeah. News today with Mia and Ricky.
Da -da -da. We're not a news channel, but we'll always let you know if something's going on. If we find out something, we'll let you know. Whether it's merchandise or a ride opening or anything else that's happening, we'll let you know. Right now, Ricky and I are gonna get an ice here in Japan at the Japan Pavilion because we like it. It's not new, but it, if you have never had it before, especially in the hot summer, you're gonna need this, trust us. So there is the booth over there, and we're in the line behind all of these people, and it's moving rather slowly. So I'm gonna say we'll probably be here about 10, 15 minutes, I'm hoping. <laughs> But I'll let you know if it's more than that. Here are the shaved ices. Here's the blue raspberry and the cherry. They are nice and refreshing. And all I can say, it tastes like blue raspberry and cherry. It just tastes like an icy, but it's nice and refreshing. So we're gonna walk around with these and eat them while we walk around and enjoy the scenery. Here is a large topiary. We have a turtle, an elephant, and a big mini with Mickey topiary. Ricky, how much is the mini and Mickey topiary? How much is it? $550? Oh. $550.99. Oh wow. For one. Oh wow. It's a bit expensive. Okay, explore this garden. It's inspired by the movie Encanto. And there's the butterfly. So here's an archway. It's made up of all bougainvillea. I think I want a photo taken right here. They are planters, but they look like a big tree. And their cactus. Look at the cactus flowers. Love the pink one. And this one, this coral and orange one, that is so nice. Ricky's walking through the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. Wasn't that fun? And it was just beautiful walking through the garden. I adore gardens. I love to watch those movies where they have the English gardens. I just love it. I wish I had one. You're not really gonna have that here in Florida. You don't have much of a backyard. And if you do, you gotta beware of snakes and other critters. Unfortunately, but I love to watch those movies. I'm telling you, in England where they have those beautiful gardens. In Europe and you know, other areas like that. Even the Japanese gardens, I just love them. Mary, are you on your way out? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, Mary, have a magical day. Thank you. Thank you. Here's Rabbit and Pooh. It's the Shakespeare Garden. And there is Shakespeare himself. I remember telephone booths when I was younger. There were telephone booths. And let me tell you about those telephone booths. They weren't very sanitary, so I'm glad they got rid of them. But they look really nice here, nice and clean. And you could get your photo taken at these telephone booths. I just had to stop here and take another look, although we stopped here the other day to look at these topiaries of Peter and Captain Hook, because they're one of our favorites. 
and it wouldn't be anything spectacular if we didn't see this big guy here back here where's the clock tick tock tick tock the big guy is waiting to take another little nibble of captain hook he took his hand but now he wants to take the other one maybe a leg or two as well we're gonna come out in the evening sometime we're probably gonna come back for bird time here at flower and garden but we're gonna do an evening i think that would be lots of fun what do you guys think should i come back for the evening with ricky let me know comment below and tell me what you guys would like to see when we come back just look like honey pots. How cute is this? Follow the honeybee on a journey of discovery from how they make one of nature's sweetest creations to their important role in our ecosystem to ways we can help them thrive. You might just be surprised at what you learn. Let's see if there's any bees. Still looking for bees. No bees today. Oh, there it is. There's the bee. Let's get a little closer. Do you see the bee? Yes, I'm getting close to you, Mr. Bee, but you stay over there, okay? Say hi to the viewers. Hello, viewers. I'm Mr. Bee. I'm a honey bee. And I love pretty flowers. About a day old and look at mama take care of the mama nobody's gonna touch the mama <laughs> here's Winnie the Pooh he's got his butterfly net he's going to catch some butterflies and the butterfly house is right next door right there so there should be a lot of butterflies floating around I love your ears. Are those yours? Oh, those are yours. <laughs> so silly of me. Okay, my Disney friends, our time here has ended. It's time for Ricky and I to go home. And um, all we can say is we had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link for part one in the description box. Um, watch that one as well. I think you'll like it. You'll enjoy it. And, um, okay, well, we'll see you next time. And on that note, we're going to end the video right here with a see you. Very soon. Real soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.